Government has denied claims by the opposition National Democratic Congress that it has over the past three years mismanaged the country's oil revenue. Deputy Energy Minister Dr. Mohamed Amin Adam says the claims are false as government has rather improved the financial position of distressed entities in the oil sector. The National Democratic Congress on February 12 indicated it adapted policies and programs to ensure the nation consistently increased its share in most petroleum agreements that were negotiated. Its alleged Ghana's share in the three oil producing fields, namely Jubilee, 10, and Sankofa Jinyame fields, kept increasing from 13.6% to 20%. Responding to the claims, Deputy Energy Minister Mohamed Amin Anza said the NDC cannot claim credit for the growth in these contracts. He added all the petroleum agreements that are producing crude oil in Ghana were signed by the Kufo administration. They cannot claim credit for the growth in government take in these very petroleum agreements they have cited. Because these petroleum agreements were all negotiated and signed by the Kufo government. He revealed the NDC created a weak PIAC contrary to claims that it took a bold step in promoting transparency and accountability in the management of petroleum resources in Ghana. There are generating plants owned by government, but we are using the Mahama plant because they committed us to take or pay contracts. And therefore, whether we use them or we don't use them, we will pay. Mohamed Amin Ansar said government will take constructive criticisms and not propaganda. If we have to discuss incentives, the NDC was the first to provide incentives to an oil company in Ghana, the ENI Sankofa project. They provided a debt to equity ratio of 2 to 1 at 7% interest on the commercial loans of the contractor when the original contract did not have said provisions. On the causes of Dumso, Mohamed Anza stated the power crisis was not technical, but financial. The NDC challenged the MPP government to switch off President Mohamed's power plants and the gas processing plant to see the unimaginable magnitude of Dumso Ghana will witness. I wonder what would have happened to the country under the NDC government if they switched off plants that were built by Nkrumah. For example, the Akosombo or power plants built by Jerry John Rawlings, or those built by President Kofo. The Deputy Energy Minister challenged claims the NDC repositioned Bust and Tor to become strong companies only for the NPP government to weaken them.